So, um, I went out for a walk and actually had recorded the audio to this video while I was walking, but then I didn't really like some of the stuff that I was saying. I'm telling y'all, I really do try to be nice, but sometimes I gotta redo videos because I guess I'm not always as nice as I want to be in the videos. Okay, so anyways, I was just on Google looking up what it meant to have an eating disorder. And it was talking about like a disruption in normal eating patterns and having distressing thoughts and emotions. And I realized that veganism is an eating disorder. It just is, it just is. And there's only like a couple of cases that I can think of where someone would be vegan but not have an eating disorder. Number one would be if they are legitimately allergic to every single animal food, which I don't think is a real thing. You getting drunk and saying, oh, I accidentally ate something while I was super drunk and I threw up, so I must be allergic. No, I'm talking about real, actual, proven allergies. And another case where I can think of where someone would be vegan and not have the eating disorder would be if um, they're a child and their parent is like forcing them to be vegan, then they they will not have an eating disorder. Obviously, that means something is wrong with the parent. So are you going to deny that veganism is a major disruption of a normal eating pattern? Veganism is not a normal eating pattern. It is not the norm. It's not. Otherwise, that Ukrainian lady that was going around being annoying to everybody because she couldn't find somebody to support her veganism and give her housing when her she had to leave her country and because of war, she would have been able to find somebody real quick if veganism was the norm. Veganism is not normal. Are you going to tell me that veganism is normal? What does it mean to be normal? Is it the norm? Is it normal? No, it's abnormal to be a vegan. Veganism is abnormal. It's not normal anywhere. There may be vegan-friendly corners of society. Oh, there's Hindus and, and Sikhs and stuff like that and they're vegan they're not actually vegan okay they're they lean towards some vegetarian tendencies but they're not strictly as religious about not eating any animal foods as you vegans and some of them will flat out lie about being vegan and vegetarian around their religious family and then go home and order prawns and stuff there's a whole article about it online i did a video about so veganism is a major disruption and i think that it has definitely has psychological and distressing things because if you look at some of these vegan um these vegan instagram pages the massive ones that just share like memes and animal torture footage, they're extremely distressed people. Just like Freely when she said when she, to keep her on track, her um, wallpaper image on her phone was a pig in a cage and stuff. Looking like it was crying. This is an eating disorder. It's an eating disorder. How could it not be an eating disorder? Even if they're an ethical vegan, I think it should be called ethical rexia. And I was researching eating disorders today and how anorexia was first started being talked about in the um, 1800s. I don't know about anorexia nervosa. But then bulimia started talking about that in the 1960s, I think. Orthorexia in the 1990s. There's going to be an ethical rexia coming up. I think that's going to happen. You're disrupting your whole eating pattern over ethics but it's my ethics and I'm not that's not an eating disorder yes it is I think it is because you're distressing yourself over these animals being tortured and keep it real no animal in nature is thinking about the welfare and the well-being of any other animal especially not, not of no other species as a normal thing in mass other than humans the animals don't care all they care about is their own young and that's it and that's it you have ethical rexia but I, I eat vegan Ben and & Jerry's and I'm not even skinny I'm a fat vegan and I eat um, Beyond Burgers and I eat vegan chicken nuggets spelled C-H-I-K apostrophe N C-H-I-K apostrophe N I am not eating disorder yes you are you have ethical rex yet because the more I think about it it makes no sense for any animal to ethics don't change what your body biologically needs and the species that you came from and how all your ancestors were eating they all ate meat so now you think you can lean into your emotions and just not in, uh, disrupt your whole diet not only disrupt your whole diet but introduce all these weird foods that you never were eating before like quinoa and dates where you think freely's ancestors were eating dates do you think about they were eating 35 dates a day what do you think that's doing to her pancreas and her organs this is an eating disorder it's completely disrupting the natural order of things especially when there's all those vegans all those eth i'm not eating this that's going to be the main one saying they don't have an eating disorder because they're doing it for ethical reasons so there's people out here that are vegan i think for orthorexic reasons because they're scared of eating something that's going to hurt them and you have ethical rexians which are scared of eating something that's going to hurt someone else this is going to be a new eating disorder i'm telling you it has to be they have to start clinically studying this 
and a lot of the um, ethical vegans they might not be underweight and stuff but they're going to start getting real sick and brittle and they're going to be in the hospital with thyroid problems and stuff and messing up their bodies eating all this junk and throwing out their back every time and passing out every time they try to lift weights like vegan gains and all those ethical vegans they're, they got eating disorders I think every last one and just because your emotions are now in in play it it doesn't your emotions are not like a tangible thing that can fill in the gaps in your diet that you're leaving open when you go vegan and say oh my body can make this amino acid and my body can make vitamin d and my body can make this and that and my body can do this and that um yeah but your emotions don't help your body with all those byproducts and all that stress from you eliminating those foods out of your diet it's completely unnatural for all the animals in nature they will basically just eat anything that they can put in their mouth and chew up and that they've eaten before that didn't make them immediately sick and ill they might not eat it if it made them sick before they didn't feel good or it wasn't appealing to them but you know meat smells delicious that's why there's vegans out here trying to make fake meat lab grown meat they're open to eating lab grown meat like unnatural vegan and all these people they make mock eggs and eat just egg if it wasn't appealing why do you what what this is an eating disorder it's an eating disorder it's a 100 percent eating disorder unless you were kid and your parents forcing you to do it or unless you're legitimately allergic to everything which i don't think that even really exists and if it does it's extremely rare but if you're an ethical vegan i think that one day down the line they're going to start to classify this ethical stuff as being an eating disorder because when you know if you think palm oil for instance is unethical i wasn't eating palm oil when i was a vegan because they were like oh it hurts the chimpanzees no, not the chimpanzees the orangutans so there's palm oil that comes from countries that don't even have orangutans african palm oil so i was using african black soap which had palm oil in it but it was coming from countries in a continent where there ain't no orangutans so it was more ethical it was ethical uh, palm oil but that's not the palm oil that's used in food typically that would be asian palm oil i think that would be the ethical decision finding the same thing that you want with less um, impact on others but completely eliminate it from your diet and then replacing it with all this weird stuff and quinoa and and um like eating just eating the weirdest things ever I, some of the vegan stuff i think of now is just weird to be eating that especially in very large quantities on a regular basis like all these beans and stuff every single day like dr burger that's like a poverty diet and if you're doing that to yourself i just think that it's an eating disorder i can't see veganism as anything other than eating disorder that's just like some new revelation that my mind told me <laughs> which could be it could be false it could just be a delusion but i think that veganism is an eating disorder now and this is all in my very unprofessional opinion but explain to me how it's not an eating disorder and the vegans that be like um when somebody asks them well if vegans don't like meat and eggs then why do you make a fake one why do you make fake eggs and fake meat and fake cheese and stuff even freely fake cashew cheese dip and all this nasty looking stuff why do you do that well it's not that we don't like those things it's just that we want the ethical version so yeah you disrupted the whole normal eating pattern you're doing something because you're distressed about your ethics so you're <laughs> you got an eating disorder that's my opinion and I fully feel that right at least right now I do I could change my mind but I don't see anything about veganism even in, sorry for something hit the microphone but um even ethical vegans that eat oh I eat everything the meat eaters around me eat I just buy the vegan version and the vegan uh, fake version you still got an eating disorder because you disrupted everything you have unless you can prove that veganism is normal for the human species and it was ever a norm for humans not some prehistoric ape that you think that humans were okay so anyway that's it this video is so long um i'm ending now